Welcome to handsonerp.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this session, I will talk about Oracle Alert Overview. So, Oracle Alert is a module in Oracle applications. What does it do? Oracle Alert module can be defined as an exceptions control solution. So, here's an example. In a running ERP system, documents like invoices, transactions, receipts, payments, etc. are created in the system and few of these documents might have unusual attributes associated with them and we might be interested in finding out those documents. An example would be an invoice with unusually high dollar amount. Here are some other examples. So we already talked about an invoice entered with unusually high amount. We might have a check that is bounced data is sitting in the interface table for more than 24 hours a manual journal is entered hitting the cash account cash account should only be touched by the accounting coming from cash management module so these are some unusual events that we might be interested in finding out not only that we might be interested in keeping an eye on important events so these are the events that are important but not really unusual for example, we might be interested in getting notification when a period is closed in payables and total number of invoices processed in payables module when a new netting agreement is created and uh, when a GL account is created, for example. Okay, so we understand that uh, one might be interested in keeping an eye on unusual events and important events. So what does Oracle Alert module has to do with this? One way of keeping an eye is to run related reports and scan through the report and try to find out if there is unusual or important activity going on. But this is no doubt a time consuming task because you have to scan through all the reports. Report contains all the data, regular data and important or unusual data as well. So you have to scan through the whole report to find out the activities uh, that might be of interest to you more efficient way of finding out important and unusual events is to implement Oracle Alert. So this is how Oracle Alert works. You specify a condition. Whenever this condition is met, some action is taken. For example, you can define a condition as the amount of invoice is greater than $20,000. So this is a condition. So whenever this condition is going to be met, an action is going to be taken and you can define the action as email. So email can be sent to you whenever an invoice is entered in the system with amount greater than $20,000. You define conditions and actions in Oracle Alert module. Oracle Alerts are of two types, Event Alert and Periodic Alert. What is an Event Alert? In an Event Alert, action is taken as soon as the condition is met. So here's an example. So you have defined a condition as when a new user is created. So this is your condition, when a new user is created. And let's say you have defined your action as email. So in case of an event alert, a notification will be sent out as soon as a new user is created in the system. Now compare that with periodic alert. In case of a periodic alert, your condition is checked periodically or on demand. You can choose your schedule for the condition to be checked. For example, daily, weekly, monthly, etc. So your condition will be checked on schedule or on demand. If your condition results in some exceptions, then the action would be taken. So let's take the same example. So you have defined a condition as when a new user is created. So you want to uh, be notified when a new user is created in the system. So in case of periodic alert, notification will be sent out on schedule, let's say on daily basis, nightly or every morning, listing all the users that were created that day or one day minus one. So that is the difference between periodic and event alert. So in case of event alert, notification will be sent out as soon as a new user is created and in case of a periodic alert, notification would be sent out on predefined schedule like daily and it will list all the users uh, that were created uh, 
in a specified time is uh, in a specified duration for example that day okay so we understand that there are two types of alerts event alert and periodic alert so what are the triggering events for the event alert and for periodic alert the event alert would be triggered as soon as the event has taken place and the condition has been evaluated as true meaning there is an exception and action would uh, be executed so you define your triggering event as an update or insert on a specific table for example if we want to be notified when a new user is created we would define triggering event as insert on fnd underscore user table let's say we want to be notified when existing users are modified we can create triggering event as update on fnd underscore user table fnd underscore user table stores records for Oracle users similarly if you want to be notified when an invoice is entered in the system with unusually high dollar amount you can create a triggering event as insert on AP underscore invoices underscore all table this table stores invoices data it's pretty easy to find out the name of the table that is behind any particular screen by going into the help menu I will show you how to do that once we are creating uh, alerts we will do the demonstrations for a few alerts now let's talk about the triggering event for periodic alert periodic alert is not triggered by an update or insert on a specific table instead it's a time based alert meaning it's triggered by the predefined schedule for example if you have defined a periodic alert that is supposed to be run every morning then it will be triggered when the time comes you can also run periodic alert on demand you do that through a form available in Oracle alert responsibility that comes with the system the responsibility that you use is called alert manager okay so we understand that we define a condition we specify an action when this condition is met action is executed let's talk more about the action so what kind of actions we can define in Oracle alert module you can define your action as an email meaning a notification will be sent out you can define your action as running off a concurrent program meaning when this condition is met this concurrent program will automatically be launched you can also make Oracle run an operating system program or an SQL script when this condition is met so you can do various things in Oracle alert module the most common option is the notification option you want to be notified when a certain condition is met so the question is when this condition is met will only one action take place you define your action and then you define action set an action set could contain one or more actions that means multiple actions could be launched when a condition is met for example you can make the system run three different concurrent programs and you can make the system send out three different emails when a condition is met okay so let's talk about conditions we understand that we specify condition we define action these actions will take place when this condition is met how do you define conditions you define conditions as select statements don't worry if you're not technical that's okay we are not writing complicated programs it's pretty easy to write basic select statements and that's all you need to define a condition for example this select statement is retrieving all invoice numbers from AP invoices all table where amount is greater than 200 you can display these invoice numbers in your email notification or you can pass these invoice numbers as a parameter to reports if you're running some reports as your action I have already mentioned that it's pretty easy to find the table name behind a certain screen and it's also very easy to find out the column name that you should be selecting from that uh, table we will learn how to do all that in our demonstrations so how would you tell if this condition is evaluated as true so if the number of records retrieved by this select statement is more than zero then it's assumed that some exception has occurred then actions will be executed so if there is no data selected by your select statement then that would mean no exception has taken place we have talked about different types of actions that you can define like sending off an email 
running of a concurrent program, execution of a operating system program or SQL script. So these are different types of actions you can define. Now we are going to talk about action level. When you define an action, you choose a level. So these are the levels available, summary detail and no exception. So what does that mean? Summary level means one action will be executed for all the exceptions that are found. So in this example, there are three exceptions found, but only one action will take place because the action level is defined as summary. So if your action is an email, then user will get only one email. And through this email, you can notify the user that there are three exceptions that are found. Now let's talk about the detail level. So in case of a detail level, one action will take place for each of the exception that was found. Using the same example, there are three exceptions found and this action would be executed once for each exception, meaning this user will receive three different emails. And in each of the email, you can display the document number and other details. You also have no exception action level available. So what does that mean? So if you define an action with level no exception, then this action would be executed when no exceptions are found. Even if one exception is found, then this action will not be executed. So in this example, there are no exceptions found. Hence, an email will be sent out to the user saying no exceptions found, assuming we have an action with level no exception. We already know that we can define multiple actions and put them in action set. All the actions would be executed. But can we have different level of actions available among the set? Yes, you can. You can have detail actions, summary actions, and no exception actions all put in one set. When no exceptions are found, no exception actions would be executed and summary and detail actions will not be executed. But when exceptions are found, then detail and summary actions are executed. Detail actions are executed once for each exception and summary actions are executed only once for all the exceptions. You can also define summary threshold. For example, you can define something like this. If number of records retrieved are more than 10, then execute summary action, otherwise execute detail action. So if number of records retrieved are 5, you will receive 5 emails. If number of records retrieved are 50, you will receive only 1 email. So we understand that Oracle Alert Module can send out emails. Keep in mind that Oracle Alert Module relies on Oracle Workflow Mailer to send out emails. Oracle Workflow Mailer is a part of Oracle Workflow Module, which is a separate module, and it's a complete workflow management system. You must configure Workflow Mailer before you can send out emails through Oracle Alerts. We will do that in our demonstration. Using Oracle Alert Module, you can send out customized emails. Here is an example. You can display invoice numbers, you can display invoice amounts in your email message, you can display usernames. All this information is retrieved using select statement. Also keep in mind that Oracle Alert can send out email to one individual or to a distribution list. When an email is received by a user from Oracle Alert, this user can reply back. Oracle Alert is capable of reading the responses. Further actions could be taken based on the response. Okay, so when a condition is met, action is taken. These actions that are taken are stored in the database as history. So history is maintained in the database. Users can review the history using search criteria. Oracle Alert is capable of detecting if this exception is found first time or whether it has already been found in the past as well. That is why history is maintained in the system and you can decide when to purge the history. Sometimes 
you may not want to be notified on duplicate exceptions and you can tell that to Oracle Alert module that suppress the notification on duplicate exceptions. Also there is a feature available in Oracle Alert called Action Escalation. For example, this is how it works. You can choose to take one action for a certain duration of time and after a certain duration you can choose to take some different action. If an exception is found, then you can take one normal action and after 30 days, if it's, it's still popping up, then you can take some severe action. An example would be an email. You can change some wordings after 30 days. So this feature is available in Oracle Alert.